Hello everyone, I'm Ginny Maltabano. And I'm Jared Steppen. And you're watching Media Misses. Well, the media absolutely lost its mind this week when President Trump made some questionable comments about Russian election meddling during his press conference with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Helsinki. And one MSNBC expert went as far as to compare the Helsinki summit to Pearl Harbor in what might have been the most outrageous claim this week. And it's just as serious to me as the Cuban Missile Crisis in terms of an attack or the 9-11 attack. The president is taking the side of the people who attacked us instead of trying to prevent a future attack. He has done nothing to make sure that the elections four months away are going to be safe. And I would say that his performance today will live in infamy as much as the Pearl Harbor attack or Kristallnacht. We'll talk about a lack of historical perspective. To compare this event, to compare this meeting with something like Pearl Harbor or the Holocaust is so outrageous, is so incredible. Anybody with a cursory understanding of these events would know how ridiculous and hyperbolic this, this accusation really was. And you know, this is an unfortunate thing that we've seen so much from the media, and they really, they really bit into it again with this event. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders was bombarded by the media this week, but she stood her ground. The president seems to spend more time criticizing his predecessor, Barack Obama, for letting it happen under in his telling than uh, Vladimir Putin. Do you have any sense why the president has not been more critical of Putin for some of these events that the entire world stage has, has really gone after him about? Uh, look, I think the president, as he has said many times before, has been tougher on Russia than anybody. I think you can see that in all of the actions that he's taken, uh, whether it was uh, a plant that was closed due to aluminum and steel tariffs that were put in place by this president. The Treasury Department has issued new sanctions on numerous individuals and entities in Russia. The president has continued sanctions on Russia's malicious cyber activity in response to election hacking. We've expelled 60 Russian operatives from the United States and closed two consulates. President Trump issued four statements condemning Russia's poisoning of U.K. citizens on U.K. soil authorized the sale of lethal aid to Ukraine, authorized military strikes against the Assad regime in Syria, and has repeatedly called out Russia's actions, exporting energy to our allies in Eastern Europe. Look, the president has been extremely tough on Russia, and to say anything different is just not true. So Look, when it comes to Sarah Huckabee Sanders, several things can be true at once. She's doing a great job of voicing the President Trump administration, what their priorities are and what he's thinking. Also, at the same time, you do have to acknowledge that President Trump did make some missteps in his summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The press is also doing their job by following up on these remarks and clarifying. So really, everybody's doing a great job. Should we be concerned about the rush to link Russian collusion with the Trump administration? A tweet from a Mike political reporter clearly demonstrates that we should be. Mike's reporter tweeted out a photo claiming that Russian spy Marina Butina was pictured in the Oval Office. She later corrected herself. Well, there they go again. They're in a mad dash to find something to attack the Trump administration on, and they can't even get their facts straight. I think this is what we're so used to seeing from the media, where they try to lead with something. They're trying to find this story, grab a hold of it, before they actually do some fact checking and find out if it really was true. I mean, you talk about fake news. This is a prime example of it, and I think it's something that's shameful with the the mainstream media in modern times. Well, Jarrett, Russia wasn't all the media was fired up about this week. Once again, they swung and they missed. Comedian Sasha Baron Cohen is making some headlines for pranks on his Showtime series, Who is America? But his prank backfired on this gun store owner who wasn't having any of it. I just kept looking at the guy and I was like, you're Borat. Soon as I said that, his eyes just looked at me like, and he did a B-turn right out the door. Well, the joke really is on Sasha on this one. I think it was great this gun store owner actually turned things around on a guy who's, you know, definitely gone to some really nasty jokes over the years, and some of it has been funny. But I think trying to impersonate veterans, trying to impersonate people and really damage a man's business, I think really was, was really going a step too far. So it's good to see him get something back after all this time. The Daily Show's Trevor Noah is in hot water after he made a controversial joke about the French World Cup winners saying that they were actually African and not French. Yes, I'm so excited. Africa won the World Cup. 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 I mean, look, I get it. I get it. They have to say it's the French team, but look at those guys, huh? Look at those guys. 
You don't get that tan by hanging out in the south of France, my friends. I'm not totally sure what the point of Trevor Noah's joke was, and a lot of people are saying that this joke is actually borderline racist. It takes away from a great team victory, a great win for the French country. The World Cup had great ratings. President Macron has that now viral photo of just pure excitement. I think Trevor Noah made a serious misstep on this joke. Tensions were high between Whoopi Goldberg and Fox News' Judge Jeanine Pirro on ABC's The View. But according to Judge Jeanine, that behavior did not end on stage. She was nuts going off the, uh, uh, the set, and then when I walked down, and so as I started walking out the building, so this woman is yelling behind me, get the F out of this building. I mean, look, I, I've, I've been a prosecutor, Judge DA, for 30 years. I try murder cases. I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. But that was abuse, and it was sad. It was a sad moment that, you know, she was triggered, and I never did, understood did she... triggering. Well, this is exactly what we can expect from the, the very tolerant liberal ladies on The View. And I think they really met, they really stack up to the left in modern times, this lack of civility, this attack on anybody who bucks the trend of liberal ideas, and maybe somebody who's positive toward the Trump administration. This kind of aggressive attack on somebody who was a guest on their show really shows the level of incivility we're seeing from modern left-wing media. We are. Well, you heard it here, the biggest media misses of the week. We want to hear your thoughts on the new show. Send us your biggest media misses and you might be featured next week.